M0FXB, welcome to my channel and here we are with the Uniden BCT15X and ProScan which is paid for but there is a 30 day trial. I'll put the link in the description for that website which looks like this. And just in case, you're, if you're having a driver problem, if you look at mine, right click, device manager, the, I'm using the cable that was in the box with the serial connection going to my PC but you can buy a cable, a USB one on eBay and Amazon for about £20. But you can see there, it's I'm on COM4 and it's working fine. So we're going to go to RRUK and grab some frequencies. Now we've just done some here on the left, um, but we'll start from fresh. First thing we do is get some frequencies. So we're going to put in town, Bristol. I'm in the UK. Uh, 10 miles for now. And we're going to do, um, let's do amateur 70 centimetre. Okay, and then it's just found all these all these different frequencies. Okay, mode. Yeah, let's stick to narrow FM because it is an analog scan like this one. So we've got them. Now we need to export. So we'll go scanner export, and it's a HPE file. Just receive only is fine for me. And it's put the file down here at the bottom, but it's also in my download folder. So now we're going to go over to the ProScan software. Let's just minimize that a bit which is already connected and you do have to select the correct COM port to connect uh, which is I just clicked there at the top I'll just cancel that a minute at the top it says COM port select your port which is the same as what you've got in device manager it sets the board rate for you and then set and it just connects so and you can see it's scanning away and these are some files from programs I've just put in just now so now it won't let you import any HPE file unless you have a, a file that's on. So if you're getting a window here, um, I'm going to click new now and create a file name. So we'll call it 70 centimeter ham vans. Okay. And put it into my Uniden folder, save. Uh, data has changed. I'm going to put yes. If, you, if you've got a message here in the middle saying there's no file selected, you've got to do what I just did, okay, which is database, new, okay, and then it will start to work. Next thing we want to do is we want to import the file, so we're going to go database here at the top, import, and then we're going to go down because we're using, I'm not in the USA, we're using Sentinel, and it's HPE files, in the USA you might want to use radio reference, in one of these other ones but for me sentinel hpd and then we're going to find the file that we just did so i'm guessing that if i go to my downloads and there is their amateur one hpe double click and we do have options to change and select and check all and uncheck uh, even get another file as well but that'll do for now so we're going to go import and it brings it all into the into the radio there, like so, or into the software before we put it in the radio. Now, it's at this point we can pretty much make some changes if we want. Look, but I'm just going to bring it all in just for fun. And look at all that. It's just loads, isn't it? And you can set yourself some other parameters here, which I'm new to with the ProScan, but quite a lot, isn't it? all that I won't close that you don't want to download from scanner right do that again so we basically is that <laughs> look at it all there so we're going to upload that to the scanner I'm going to click upload and just go yes it exceeds the limit of 20 I'm just going to go yes and it for now I just want to show you this working that you can upload these files and it takes a bit of time. Let's pause that while it does it. It's not going to let me pause, so we're going to have to wait. And the radio just on the front says remote mode keypad lock you can see on the software side the software is showing UL database so when that completes we're going to have a look at the radio 
So at the radio, as soon as it turns on, it started scanning. I could have created a quick key as well, but it's using quick keys number one and seven. If you press group, that comes up as well. We haven't set quick keys for groups. So if I just go menu, act like I'm going to program a new system manually, select the silver button program system. Now these are one, these groups here, test and DMR and quick save are ones that I added earlier. Quick save, as soon as you add a memory channel, it, you've got your quick save there anyway. Amateur radio is another one I did. So if you go down, now these ones here, all these DMR ones, these have all been added because of that import. When you back out, it just scans, it just scans them all. Now the idea is that you select quick keys so you can deselect and select which ones to scan. I've just chucked a load in there to show you that it's definitely doable with the ProScan software. Now I'll probably factory reset and start again. And the way you factory reset is you turn it off and then hold down the hold, the nine and the two, at the same time, turn it on and it factory resets. And you can start from scratch, so it's quite fiddly. Hold nine, two, then there you are. It will say when it factory resets. No, I missed it. <laughs> Let's try again. Turn it off. Hold nine. Let's try this is fiddly. Oh, did it do it? Try one more time. Hold nine. Live life dangerously. They are. And we're just going to start again from scratch. Hope this helps you using the ProScan software and importing from RRUK. 7.3, all the best. What I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it off, then on. And just see what it starts to do out of the box. It starts to scan. It's got all the American stuff off. We'll turn that off for now by pushing the P and the H until it all vanishes. And look, straight away it's scanning. We have got an antenna on there. Turn it up. Squelch down a bit. Go to about, well, keep it up that. And then volume up and see if it finds anything. But you can see that it's worked. It's got all the airports in there. And it's as good as your antenna, really. Maybe mine's not connected that great because it doesn't seem to be doing much. And if we hold, press hold, and then you can see, we can scroll through, you know, what we've got there. I don't think it actually put in many frequencies, but that's okay. You get the idea. Put in a few. It's using the, you know, the, the names. But that's it. That's how you import your, you know, airports. It, it, and anything else you'd like to do using the ProScan software and RRUK73. All the best. Bye for now.